All right, what we're going over today is how to properly grind tungsten. There's three endpoints when you're uh, TIG welding that you can use. One is tapered to a point, that's what this is right here. Another is tapered with a ball, and the other one is just a straight up ball that you would use for like aluminum applications. Uh, I got the correct way here and the incorrect way. Uh, these little lines, and this is just a blown up view of what tungsten would look like. Uh, these lines indicate, indicate grinding marks. So you can see these ones are going perpendicular to the tungsten, these ones are going parallel. Uh, this is incorrect, and we're going to go out and we're going to fire up a grinder and show you how to do the incorrect way as well as the correct way. Uh, this is when you have your uh, tungsten uh, perpendicular to your stone when you're grinding, so you're holding it kind of like this and spinning it. This is when you're going with the stone, so if the stone is coming like this, you're going to be like this. The reason they do that is it uh, makes electrons flow better off of this tungsten than with the incorrect way when you go over all those little grind marks. So we'll get out in the uh, lab and we'll uh, show you how to do it on a grinding stone. All right, this is a brand new piece of tungsten and you can see it's just a cylinder with square cut ends. This red indicator here means that it's 2% thoriated tungsten. So the first one we'll, we'll show you is with a hand. I'll just do it by hand and then guy showed me a neat little trick and I'll show you that after that after we do the hand grind. Alright first we're going to show you the incorrect way to grind the tungsten here so we'll zoom in on the grinding wheel while I do the incorrect way. Okay this is the incorrect way see how I'm coming in perpendicular. Alright, this is the incorrect way to grind it and you can see the lines are kind of going perpendicular to the piece of tungsten. That was a handheld grind and what we'll do now is show you the correct way. Alright, we just showed you how to do the incorrect way to grind tungsten, now we're going to show you how to do the correct way. Alright, this is the correct way, you want the tungsten going with the direction of the grind. So we'll get it going here. slowing down just put a little flat spot on it you just need a little one all right this is the properly way to grind it the finished product anyways and you can see the lines are now going parallel to the piece of tungsten with a little flat spot on the end now I'm going to show you a little trick that somebody showed me just the other day and I don't know if it's widely known or not but it seemed to work pretty well so I'll show you how to get it a little bit better a little bit quicker smoother anyways. Alright, somebody showed me the other day that if you put it in a, just a drill, spin the drill while you're doing it, it makes it a little bit more even and goes a little bit faster. And also when you're doing this by hand, it tends to heat up and burn your fingers. So this will eliminate burning your fingers. So we'll uh, run it on the stone now and uh, show you the finished product. Alright, here we go with the drill. All right, this is the final product. They're both properly ground tungstens. And you can see the one on the right is the one we used the drill on, and it's a little bit more uniform. So I kind of like that little trick. All right, that concludes on how to grind uh, tungsten properly. I, I really like this trick. Um, thanks for watching and subscribing to TV Well.